The decline of clothing sales continues at M&S, as illustrated this morning in the latest quarterly results. They showed food sales flat, which isn't bad in the current really tough groceries market. But general merchandise sales, that's mainly clothes, were down by nearly 3%. M&S has been trying to get its mojo back when it comes to clothing for ages now. And the latest effort involves the presenter and modern Ale- model Alexa Chung. She was credited with boosting profits at M- M&S single-handedly by wearing one of their suede skirts. And she's since been invited to choose her own collection from the M&S archive. It's excited the fashion press, but does the typical M&S customer care much about Alexa Chung? Hilary Alexander is a fashion journalist. She was brought in by M&S to help with their Per Una collection a few years ago. And Kate Hardcastle is an independent retail analyst. Kate, the typical M&S customer then, what is she like? I think she's currently crying into her £10 meal deal, actually, (laughs) waiting for her loyalty to be repaid over all of these years, that she has shown the service, she is there. I've been in store this morning. They are waiting in the cafe, in the wings, for this beautiful range to come through that will be tailored, that will be fitting for them, that they will feel good in. The middle-aged market of fashion is worth £2.6 and we are waiting on the doorstep for Marks & Spencers to come good here, and they are struggling. And I'm afraid that the news of things like Alexa Chung, whilst exciting for the, the hip and fashion press, for the typical over 50 is, is not the news they want to hear. And that is the typical m and customer. She's over 50, she's uh, media savvy, she uses uh, technology and so on. Absolutely, and even though that daughters will shop with mums and young people should be brought through as the customers of the future, they have to look at that core marketplace. A lot of baby boomers, a lot of disposable income there, and a lot of good can be done for the next 20, 30 years to secure a good, healthy future. They're wanting classics, they're wanting quality, they're wanting availability, but more than anything, they want to model themselves on people like Helen Mirren, who will look wonderful in a dressed-up dress and a leather jacket combination, um, and are currently you know, we've got Mary Berry shopping at Zara. I think we've got to reconfigure what that look and feel is. It's bizarre that they have such great footfall, such success in food, and they can't even move customers from one department to the other. So I think they need a panel of their customers advising them on what needs to be done. Hilary Alexander, when m and was getting it right with clothes, what were they doing then? I think for a start... Um it was easier to shop around the store, to make your way around the store and to find what you were looking for. And I think there were less collections or less sort of names. And I think they also had not forgotten the basics. I think over the last few years, there's been this sort of attempts to strike out and kind of hit this fashion market. And as your other um, Kate, uh, guest was, Kate was yes. saying, um, it's kind of missing the core market. And I think that some of the things in the Alexa Chong collection um, are quite fun, quite interesting. There's a wonderful um, khaki double-breasted trench coat, for example, which is um, inspired by one from the 1950s, which basically any age, any woman, any shape could wear. But a lot of the pieces are, I think, for a much um, shall we say, younger or more london oriented market. Um, and when it comes to the basics, there is always, always a problem. I have tried unsuccessfully on several occasions. Um, basic, classic black leggings, can you find them? No, they've either got them with sort of fancy waistbands or ski pant bottoms or something else going on. Um, a black simple vest you used to be able to buy in packs of two. You can put on under anything. I go there, they've sold out of virtually every size except size sixes and sort of size 5, um, 24 or 26. It's the same with, with bras. Most sort of, I think the 34C is a quite popular size. I've never, never managed to find a 34C bra. And I just find the whole experience confusing. Kate Hardcastle, it's much harder now for anyone to be a market leader in clothing because if you think of m and the squeezed on price at the bottom, then they have John Lewis as the trusted brand, and then in the middle there's Next and Zara. 
You're completely right, Winifred. But the fact is, you know, I think with retail, everyone thinks they can do it. Um, but I think actually in this case, most of Marks and Spencers could probably give it a good go. These ladies know who they aspire to. And, you know, they see brands like Donna Ida and Melissa Udabash, who is swimwear collections they can't afford and think, all you have to do is make that available and classic and at my price point and I'll be there like a shot to buy from you. And they can't understand why the departments don't tie up. They can't understand why the clothing isn't there available in the classic lines that they need, which have, have been the same as far as I understand, you know, comfy jeans, uh, the go-to little black dress. So it's not hard, and if it keeps trying to reinvent itself to try and get a millennial customer who will serve them no loyalty whatsoever, mm. they're on a very frustrating game, particularly with the likes of Asos, who can deliver whatever you want from the catwalk overnight. It's an obvious win here. Get hold of those customers, say, we are so sorry, what do you want from us, and deliver it brilliantly. Hilary, you worked with them on the Peruna collection, mm. as I said. What do they like to work with? Um, a mixture. I'm very enthusiastic, um, but this, it's almost like a design by committee because there's so many people kind of involved in the process um, of getting you know, a sketch or an idea off the drawing board into the factory and onto the shop floor. Um, I found with Peruna particularly, um, my problem, considering um, this sort of 45 or 40 plus market, as Kate has mentioned, was trying to get the hemlines down and the cleavage up and add more sleeves. Because as a woman over 50 myself, um, I know very well that women don't want to show masses amounts of cleavage, they don't want a hemline halfway up their thighs and generally they do want a sleeve and that doesn't mean something called an angel wing which is a, a little sort of flutter of chiffon. Hilary Alexander, Kate Hardcastle, thanks both. We could talk about this all day, couldn't we? Email us, tell us um, what you would like to buy at m and